Hi, Luke Raymond from Anaxis Security Systems here. Today's topic is actually going to be the Ajax app, and specifically, we're going to discuss how to learn it into a Wi-Fi network or connect it to Ethernet. Let's get going. Once you've opened the Ajax app, once again, you have control of the system. By going into the Devices section, you will be able to access all the different programming of all the different peripherals on the panel. To access the programming of the panel, go into the actual panel itself, and in the upper right-hand corner, there's going to be a little gear. By clicking on the gear, I can then actually do the programming of the system itself. Once I'm programming the system, there's an Ethernet tab, a cellular tab, and a Wi-Fi tab. When you click on the Ethernet tab, it automatically shows whether the system is connected. In this case, it is currently connected to a network with a Cat5 cable. By going back, I then can go into the Wi-Fi section. By clicking on the Wi-Fi section, I can see that the system is not connected to Wi-Fi. The best way to actually connect it to Wi-Fi is to initially connect the panel itself to an Ethernet cable. Once you've done though that, if you want the panel to communicate over Wi-Fi, simply slide this to the side, it turns on the Wi-Fi, and the panel itself will search scanning for local Wi-Fi networks. By scanning for local Wi-Fi networks, all of the local Wi-Fi networks will, will be found, and then you get to pick which one you want. By choosing the local one, it's going to ask you for a password. You enter the password, click connect, and then you are connected. You can then disconnect the panel from the actual Cat5 cable if you only want it communicating over Wi-Fi. A common problem, though, is that if we have different uh, distributors, if we have the panel connected over Wi-Fi and change from one provider of internet services to another, oftentimes this causes a bit of a problem because your panel hasn't been learned into the new network. There are two ways to fix this. The first way being to once again connect the panel via an ethernet cable to the new router and to learn it into the new Wi-Fi network. The second is if you have a cellular communicator, by clicking on cellular here, I actually see what the two SIM cards are, see if it's roaming, see what network it's on. So if it is connected to a cellular network, you can then log in via the cellular network and relearn it into the new Wi-Fi. As you can see, there are multiple ways to connect a hub actually to your network. The first being via Cat5 cable directly to your router. The second being to use that Cat5 cable initially, then connect it to Wi-Fi networks if you want to go that way. The third being cellular. You can actually do combinations of these. Have the panel connected to Wi-Fi and Ethernet and cellular if you so want. And including to that, you can actually have two different SIM cards for the cellular network. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and we're happy to reach out to you and give you any info you need. Cheers.